Whoops, there's a new firmware update. There is a firmware update for the Canon R8. How do we do that? How do we install it in our camera? Well, that's so easy. I'm gonna tell you after the intro. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna tell you how to update your firmware for your Canon R8. The new firmware is 1.2.0. Okay, you're not gonna believe how easy it is. Unlike a few years ago when to do a firmware update we would need, yes, the camera of course, an SD card, an SD card reader, a fresh battery and a computer, but that was in the prehistory actually a few years ago. But today in 2024 we just need of course the camera, in this case the Canon R8, an SD card, a fresh battery and our smartphone. As simple as that. Okay, first things first, we should prepare our camera to receive the firmware update. All we have to do is take an SD card, put it inside and format it and check that box there, low level format. So you make sure you erase everything from the SD card and it will be ready to receive the firmware update. Then make sure you use a fresh battery, fully charged, because if something goes wrong and your camera turns off during the process, it might be in trouble. I mean, the camera could be damaged. Once you've done this, you open the official Canon app, Camera Connect, and usually when there is a new firmware update, you get a notification when you open it. If you don't get the notification, just click on the options on the top right, go on firmware update and you'll find it there if it is available. But in this case, I got the notification, so let's see what happens. 1.2.0 and let's see, what does it do? What do we get from it? First thing, most important thing, the reason why they did this firmware update, we get full compatibility with a new lens, the RF-S for crop sensor cameras, mostly, 10 to 18 millimeters, f4.5, f6.3. Okay, I just want to let you know that I'm never gonna use that lens, so I'm doing this firmware update just so I can show you how to do it, cause honestly, I'm not really into RF-S lenses. In my opinion, their quality is not, well, but okay. Another thing that this firmware will give us, here it says, it fixes minor issues. Okay, that could be anything. Okay, now let's see. Here there's some advice or directions. For example, we should not use a previously formatted SD card, put a fresh battery, fully charged, and don't put anything on your camera, like remove the lens or microphone or anything. Someone will say, yeah, I done it with the lens and the microphone on and nothing happened. Okay, good for you. But if Canon says not to do so, that you should remove everything from the camera before doing the firmware update, well, chances are there is a reason. So my advice, just do as I say, as Canon says. Okay, then terms and conditions, and we just scroll down, we're not gonna read all this, right? <laughs> and then we download the firmware update on a smartphone and it's pretty fast so now we're prompt to connect our camera which supposedly we already have it like paired connected to the app according to what we read on the phone we have to turn it on and as soon as we do the file of the firmware update is sent straight to the camera Okay, 
Now, here is tricky. On the screen here, we see the current firmware that we have installed in our camera and the one we downloaded. So we have to select it, but the touch screen won't work. Don't worry, camera is not broken. We just use this button on the right here to select the firmware update and press the button to accept. And it will start installing the firmware update in your Canon R8. It's gonna take a while, but be patient. Don't touch anything, don't touch any buttons, don't move the camera, don't open the SD card slot or the battery slot, don't do anything, don't breathe. I know, you can breathe, don't worry about it. But just wait patiently. Okay, so it looks like it's done. One more step. Again, the touch screen doesn't work yet. So we have to use the button to accept and switch from the old to the new firmware 1.2. Point o. The camera restarts and now in the settings, when we go to the menu with the wrench and we go to see firmware, now 1.2.0. That's it. It was easy, wasn't it? All right. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys the next video. Oh, yeah.